beautiful Leos and welcome to your weekend reading for this weekend of February 25th, 26th and 27th. Do keep in mind that time is fluid and this reading can resonate for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs or if you have heavy strong Leo placements in your chart. Cross watchers you are most welcome here as well. So Leo we are looking into the weekend in the description box and the comment section down below. You will find the timestamps for this reading. We're going to get spirits message. We're going to get a general message and we're going to get a love message and an ending oracle. So Leo, do keep in mind, this is your bonus channel. So this is all going to be bonus material. If you're looking for your regular releases, they are on Miss Machiste's tarot. And you can find that also in the description box below. And if you would like to cross watch other signs. And Leo, in March, the Leo's Plus release will start, which I'm going to be getting out love readings for the month of March for Leo plus each zodiac sign. So it's going to be all 12 zodiac signs, all 12 individual readings. So if you have not already subscribed, definitely do so. And if you have not already rung that bell so you are notified when I post a new video, definitely do so because um, a lot of these Leo um, bonus readings are timed in a time frame. I haven't got any timeless readings out just yet, but you'll know when I do. So hello, we're ready. They're ready. They're saying, come on, let's go. We got to tell Leo what's going on. All right, I'm ready. Spirit, let's do it. This is for Leo. We're getting you a guardian, guardian angel for Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for this weekend. All right. Let's see what it is. And we have, ooh, the angel of love card 20. Some of you, there is a very big emphasis on your love life this weekend. Let's get another angel just in case not everybody is focused on love. For my beautiful Leos. And we have the Angel of Happiness. Wow, beautiful. All right, so Leo, there's definitely a restoration to happiness in your love life. <clears throat> Very specific with those two cards. Some of you could be meeting new love, having a lot of more happiness with your current lover or your love life is just looking up <clears throat> others of you leos um you know if this is not romantic love with the angel of love and angel of happiness here i do feel like you have a lot of love around you a lot of support with family a lot of support from friends a lot of support from co-workers a lot of support from the people around you here and you're just feeling really happy you're feeling really loved this weekend and if it's not romantically it's platonically from the people around you which is just as beautiful you know so i love this for you leo it looks like a pretty happy weekend and you're feeling really loved so let's get a <clears throat> astrology card for leo for the weekend february 26th i'm sorry 25th 26th 27th for leo thank you Okay, your astrology card is the South Node, Life's Debts. All right, so I like that that card came out because you're finally receiving more happiness where you've been feeling a lot of the total opposite. So for some of you, you may have felt like the people around you weren't lovable, weren't supportive, weren't bringing you happiness. You definitely may have a turn of that occurring in your life or this weekend others of you this is specifically directly to your love life where your love life has been extremely difficult for you things are definitely looking up with that south node coming in you have um paid your dues leo right you have paid your dues pretty sure you got this card not too long ago so um that's a definite indication that when you first got this card in the struggle with these two cards Finally, the energy is looking up. So let's get another astrology for Leo. And we have Pluto transformation card 11. Wonderful. There it is. You have paid your dues. You have paid your karmic debts. 
that you have owed in your soul contracts around love specifically or just around relationships in your life. So beautiful transformation here. There is happiness happening for you, around you, coming towards you. And I feel like it's going to come in terms of people where you're feeling really loved, really supported, or you're meeting new people who are really supportive and make you really happy. But there's beautiful transformation. I love that you got Pluto to the south node, which means that you have been paying your debts. Your struggle is not for nothing, you know? So we also have card 11 here. So we have 11, 15, and 20. So you could have been born on any of these days, Leo. Those are all days in Leo season. So some of you could have been born on 11, 15, or 20. So now that we have your themes out, let's get your message from Spirit. They are emphasizing your love life. So I'm going to do your love message first after your message from Spirit. Um, and then general at the end. So hello. Spirit, this is for my beautiful Leos for the weekend of February 25th, 26th, 27th. Please show me for my lovely Leos. What do we got going on for Leo for the weekend? Things are changing. Things are transforming. Things are looking up. What's this about? So we have here bridge. Woo. Ooh, this is unreal. You got bridge reconciliation. Oh my goodness. All right. You also got wasp, jealousy. Oh my gosh. And we have miss whole mystery. All right. Leo, Leo, Leo. Oh my gosh. I am mind blown here. Some of you, there is um, high reconciliation here happening in your love life. Um, I feel like there are people jealous of this connection that you're in or, um, Maybe your past is jealous or their past is jealous. Um, but there is people around you that are jealous of you, Leo. Um, but somebody wants to reconcile with you here. Um, we do have the emphasis on love. So this absolutely could be romantic love. But you could be reconciling with a family member, a friend, an acquaintance that, you know, was a missed opportunity um, for a friend or a real relationship, whatever the case may be. Um, you could be reconciling with somebody you just haven't seen for a while. Doesn't mean that anything happened to you too, but, um, with the bridge being your first card, there is very strong reconciliation energy. So I do feel like this could be anybody for a lot of you. It definitely may be love. Um, I've, keep in mind that these energies aren't, um, I mean, you're going to have to obviously work through an experience, but with you getting the wasp, there's either somebody jealous of this friendship you have that is reconciling this relationship you have. And the reconciliation isn't always about a full on separation for some of you. Yeah. Others of you, there was just an energetic disconnect with this person, friend, family member, love, whatever the case may be. But there is either somebody jealous of this connection of this friendship, of this dynamic, of this relationship you share with your mom. Maybe you have a sibling who's jealous, whatever. It could be anything like this. Um, third party energy could be jealous. Your past, their past. Um, but somebody definitely wants to reconcile with you here and bridge the gap, right? Bridge the gap between the two of you, whether it's an energetic gap, a physical gap. There is a, there is a gap here between you and somebody that they want to um, close the gap this weekend and get closer to you. I don't know. This person could be jealous. So you could be, this could be a jealous lover. This could be a jealous friend, or you have energies around you jealous of this. And with the whole mystery, there is a very large mystery around this reconciliation. What's going to happen next, right? So let's clarify this. Ooh, this is unreal. I can't believe you guys got this. Well, I can believe it, actually, because we are transitioning through your energy. Clarify this for Leo. Please clarify the bridge, the wasp, and the hole. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So on the bridge, 
We have Shark Survival. All right. We have the Wasp with Web Cosmic Plan. And we have the Hole with Cloud Shape Guardian Angels. Wow. All right. So, wow. All right. So, you got the shark on the bridge. Oh, gosh. So, Leo. Leo. Um, I don't know. I don't feel like the person that wants to reconcile with you, you had the greatest experience with. Doesn't mean that they were super horrible. Doesn't mean that they were super um, disastrous or destructive. But some of you, they were. Ask your spirit guides. Ask your past on loved ones. Because you're presented with a choice here. I don't know. Maybe it was just a toxic friend. A friend that was jealous of you. You know, maybe they always copied you. Um, you, ooh, you could be hearing from a friend who wants to know what you're doing, how you've been, this is that and the other. They like to bite off of you. Like they like to like, um, take your personality almost. Some of you Leos, you may hear from this person. I almost feel like that with love too. If this is a full on record, full on separation here, you definitely may be hearing from somebody that I almost feel like you felt like they were... Trying to be you for some reason. I don't know. We have cloud shapes, guardian angels. So definitely pay attention to the clouds. Some of you may have seen interesting shapes in the clouds recently. Or maybe when you did deal with this person. Clarify this for Leo. This is interesting. All right. Why is a shark here? Milk. Nourishment. Mm-hmm. All right, we have the web with diamond and we have the cloud shaped guardian angels as dove. Okay, so interesting energy here, Leo. Um, I did say this to you for your Bailey a couple days ago that somebody feels you slipping away. This is probably who this is here. Um, I feel like this could be anybody for a lot of you. This definitely could be a lover. But this person wants to feel like nourished by you with the milk coming in. Like they need their dose of Leo and they haven't had Leo because you look like you've been wherever you've been, um, whether either you've been pulled back a little bit or a lot of bit. You definitely haven't been fully nourishing this connection how you normally would do. And this person wants that. They want that nourishment again. They want that they want to drink from your cup, Leo, and a lot of you Leos are like, mm, I don't know if I should let you drink from my cup. I feel like this person um, caused you some unpeaceful energy. I feel like this person either brought jealous tendencies or there are jealous people around you or around this connection. That may be why you are standoffish. You know, maybe you don't want to feel like you're in competition with people and you're like, I'm out of here. Like my peace is where I don't feel like I have to compete with other lovers, other friends, other family members or other coworkers for your, um, for your reciprocation or whatever. I don't know. I just feel like a lot of you Leos, you're, you're, you don't, you, you can't, you don't compete where they don't compare. You're like, why am I going to compete to people who are not even on a level that I'm on. So I feel like for some of you Leos, this person made you feel like you had to be in competition with other people. Whether they put you in that situation or you just felt that, that definitely made you feel unpeaceful here. You don't want to compete because who can compete with the lion? Nobody. So you're sitting and it's not cockiness, Leo. It's not cockiness. It's confidence and it's self-awareness where you're coming to the realization of I'm not competing for anything. I'm the diamond people. I am the diamond. So you either see me for my shine because I'm not competing with anybody else for your attention. So oof, 
You may have somebody like that coming around this weekend, Leo. I don't know if this is friend, love, family, or whatever, but this person weirdly or somehow made you feel like you were somehow in competition with another energy. If that is not the case, then this person is jealous of you. And they want to drink from your cup. They want some more Leo. They 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 need that. They're, they're losing their personality, Leo. They're losing their vibes because they're not around you anymore. They don't have anything to copy or to bite off of. And it's like they want that from you. I would be a little bit cautious of this person. Let me clarify this one more time. You will find peace. You're, uh, the, the people on the other side, the... Um, the um, your angels, your guardian angels, they are going to help you find peace. Trust me, Leo. Peace from this person or peace from this person's return. Because some of you, it's not a huge um, disconnect with that bridge. Some of you, you're still in contact with this person, but there is a little bit of energetic distance. All right, so on this milk energy we have feathers protection beautiful so spirit is protecting your energy from this either energy vampire or copycatter or i don't know what the heck they are but you are protected on the diamond we have the ladybug luck beautiful yes leo that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying you don't compete you don't compete why would you when you are lucky you are abundant and you are the diamond and guess what? You sitting in that sort of position brings people like this back. Brings people like this around. Unfortunately, and you know, whatever. You got to deal with, you got to deal with things, you know. People are going to take whatever actions they feel like they needed to take. So, on the Dove, we now have 444. Your hard work and determination is creating blessed foundations for the future. So, Leo... Like I said, all of your patience, all of your effort, all of your, the way you nourished this person, the way you used to be towards this energy, your hard work will be rewarded. You're on the right path. Your foundations will be built and you will be blessed. Clarify this 444. Spirit is really supporting you here, Leo. Really supporting you. They are here. They are supporting you with that 444. Clarify that. And on that, we have bread, hospitality. Yes, Leo. Spirit will take care of you. Just make sure you take care of your energy. You know, you're not making any wrong decisions. Maybe you will give some energy to this person. Maybe you won't. But Spirit will make sure you're okay. And that's your biggest message here. And... The, you're really in a position of just being taken care of by spirit. Even if it maybe not seem like it and you're just kind of like, what's going on? Trust and believe. Beautiful message. I mean, it's it, it, was, it, it was a message, but I think it was a good one here. So we're going to get you one of these cards now. One of these moon cards. Spirit for Leo. Then we're going to get your love message. All right. So we have this card. It's like um, somebody pointing to the moon. And it says, I assess matters carefully and discern wisely. I said, be cautious. Be a little bit careful. Because, you know, some of you, this reconciliation is bringing you a lot of happiness to your love life. But there are things that need to be worked through in this connection. Um, or, you know, this reconciliation, you really were wishing for this friend. But you do know to be a little bit careful. Um, but let's see what we got going on with love, Leo. Spirit for romantic love for Leo for the weekend of February 25th to the 27th. Please show me what's coming towards Leo with romantic love. And I love this card, how it did that. It's like... It's like, think before you touch. Think before you engage, right? Spirit, this is for Leo for romantic love for the weekend. Please show me for Leo. Spirit for Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. 
for this weekend in romantic love. All right, we have the Two of Swords, so you don't see this coming. The Page of Swords, this person's been heavily watching you, and the King of Swords, but they've been acting like they haven't been. So, all swords, air sign energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I just think it's coming in as this person meaning meaning to put on a, put on a little facade here. They're acting like they don't really care. King of Swords, they're acting very detached, they're acting like whatever... I'm good. Leo's distant from me, but I'm fine. But in reality, they're watching you like a hawk. Very, very close. This reading is unreal. The way that these reading, the way that these energies are synchronizing with one another. And the two of swords, I really don't see, I don't think you see this energy coming or this person being this way towards you this weekend because of how um, cold they're trying to act. Or, you know, Leo, you're a bit detached, so... Maybe you're just not really focusing on it and it comes out of nowhere. But let's see in terms of romantic love for Leo. On the Two of Swords, we have the Ace of Cups. So definitely new love available for you, but you need to open up your eyes. You need to open up your eyeballs there. Take off that blindfold and sit in that energy of new love being available for you. Some of you, like I said, um, that reconciliation like energy absolutely could be a indication for your love life. We do have the ace of cups here. So for a lot of you, that person coming back in, or like I said, they're coming in with some sort of emotion this weekend, yet they've been in this position of, I don't care, or I'm going to make it seem like I don't care. But in reality, there's the ace of cups. And that's why you don't see it coming because they're sitting in this mask or they're or they have a mask on page of swords nine of swords so they're watching you and while they're watching you they're also stressing out and the king of swords with the devil yeah i'm telling you this person is putting on a show um leo some of you you're getting over a person who put on a show and you have new love but because of what you went through you're like totally like blindfolded you're like nope i dealt with this person they put on this whole facade they hid who they really are i don't know about new love but it is here for a lot of you it's available others of you it's coming from this person which would be totally understandable as to why it comes so unexpectedly because this person is sitting in this position of the devil to the king of swords um this also could be you but i'll I'll flip the message for that. If it's this person, they are possessive. They are obsessive. They are somewhat a little bit toxic. Could be a lot of it. Um, but they act like they do no wrong. Or they could never do no wrong. Or they're like, God gifts to heaven. No. This person, they put on this... Um, I don't care attitude. But this weekend, you're challenging that. And you're also not caring. And guess what? It's going to make them care. Or this person is just deciding to be more open to you emotionally now. Which definitely could be why you had the angel of love to happiness. Because you don't see this ace of cups coming with that blindfolded energy. And it's either because you don't expect it from this person. Or you're just not expecting new love to come in. But let's see. Clarify this for Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for love for the weekend. On the Ace of Cups, we have the Nine of Swords. Yeah, so um, new love, Nine of Swords here too. A little bit stressed out about opening up to new love. Nine of Swords to the King of Pentacles and the Devil to the Lovers. Okay, there they are. So some of you, you know, Leo, this is a new connection for you, but you're so um, bothered by what occurred to you that... You're not necessarily fully seeing it clearly. You're seeing it in a in a fear-based energy for now. But I do see you um, cutting out of that energy and feeling more clear mentally in terms of this new person. Others of you, this is definitely that person. Mm -hmm. The lovers of the devil, the night and day of this connection could be that this connection has a lot of extremes, right? Really high highs and really low lows. That's the devil to the lovers there. And this person is going to bring you a high, high this weekend. I'm letting you know that right now. There is a high, high coming from this person this weekend. But with the nine of swords connected to the ace of cups, Leo, because of your pattern of relationship with this person's energy, you anticipate that the next thing that's coming is a low, low. 
Try not to get in your head that fully. Try to live in the present moment of what's happening. Clarify this for Leo. But it's totally understandable of your 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 stress, you know. They're no, not downplaying that at all. But it's going to be a little bit more helpful for you to see it more clearly and not be too fear-based. So clarify this one more time for Leo in terms of romantic love. And there's a the lovers there to the devil. Reconciliation. Somebody needing that nourishment from you. Nine of swords, seven of wands. Yeah, you're a little bit defensive towards it. Or you're trying not to think it's too good to be true. Like you're trying to think like, all right, maybe it's too good to be true. Who knows how long this loving energy from this person is going to last, right? That high, high. Or that new love coming in and you're a little bit defensive. King of pentacles to the lovers. Ooh, high reconciliation. Ooh, extremely. And if that's not the case... This person is deciding to be more emotional to you or deciding to be more loving towards you. But with this person's love and emotion, it does come with some sort of stress because I do feel like it's a high, high, low, low connection. And the lovers with the tower. Yeah, you're going to be, I mean, I said that with the two of swords. You don't see this coming. Now the tower is here. You do not see this coming at all. Some of you, you didn't even see this new person coming and then boom, they just surfaced in your life. Others of you, you just don't see your person coming with more love this weekend, um, possibly because they've maybe been stressing you out recently, or there has been a disconnect with this person for quite some time. But whoever's coming with love this weekend, you definitely don't expect this. Clarify one more time for Leo, because now we have the tower. Seven of Wands to the Fool. Yeah, so this person wants fresh start, new energy with you. They are a new person, but you are a little bit defensive over taking a risk on love. Others of you, it's this person coming in. They want a new start. They want to reconcile or your person is coming with some sort of love. But like I said, there's that fear. You don't want to be the fool. You don't want to be like, all right, yeah, awesome. You're being loving towards me this weekend. Finally, you're changing. You know, you don't want to have that... Um. Too high hopes, but you don't want to not have no hope at all, you know, so definitely try to work through that fear-based belief system. The lovers with the ten of wands and the tower to the three of wands. Yeah, a lot of you definitely have waited for this energy, have waited for this person to return, have waited for new love to come in, or have waited for your person to be more emotional or more lovable. Ten of Wands, you're definitely releasing a burden here and you're absolutely ready to see what comes. Let's see, why is the Tower there to the Three of Wands for Leo? Tower to the Three of Wands for Leo. And we have the Page of Cups. Yeah, so you're ready for this new love or you're ready for this person to give you some love or you're ready for this um, apology or maybe you've anticipated it. Or it just, like this person just decides to take the lead and come on in. So pretty interesting, Leo. That's what I got here. Strong Gemini. Um, you have the lovers twice. You have um, the devil with Capricorn. You have Scorpio. And you have Aries. So let's get some island time. Oracle for this. This is for Leo for romance for this weekend for Leo. Yeah, I mean, with that Tower of the Three of Wands and the Page of Cups, you definitely have been anticipating something. Either new love, apology, reconciliation, or your person being more open. And you do have the angels of Angel of Love with Happiness. So it does look like you're receiving something you've been waiting for. So let's see here, Leo. I just feel like there's this caution around how long this good energy is going to last or who or what this new person's all about, those kind of things. So let's see here. So Leo, we have girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. All right. So some of you definitely, this is new love. Um, talk to your friends about it. Doesn't mean you're a uh, feminine. Um, Talk to your friends about it. Talk to your family about it. Have fun with friends. Live happily. Some of you, you have been living happily on your own, away from this person, and that may be why they want to reconcile with you. Others of you, if you are in a relationship with this person, definitely ask some friends for help if you need. Uh, we also have ascending. 
Transcending obstacles, learning expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Yeah, so for a lot of you, this person is coming back in because they want to ascend this connection now. They want to move into a new phase. Others of you, this new person definitely wants for you two to prepare for union. And Leo's in connections. The connection is ascending. This person is trying to move you two towards more connection here let's see what your other card is girl with a snake empath and narcissist paradigm yeah yeah being charmed or used and enable and boundaries yep that makes sense that makes sense Makes a whole lot of sense. And that's what I felt about when I was reading your spirit message in term for love. Empath narcissist paradigm. That's that narcissist missing the empath and needing that. Needing that that drink from their cup, right? All right. So a lot of you are definitely dealing with that kind of dynamic, unfortunately. I mean, I'm not surprised. You do have the devil to the lovers and night and day, right? I said the high, high highs, the low, low lows. That would be an empath narcissistic paradigm, especially if it's um, one where people cross lines and boundaries with one another. So, you know, this connection is going to try to ascend, if you're already in a relationship with this person or in a connection, it's going to attempt to ascend. But there's more cycles needed for this, for sure. Others of you, you have definitely been in a process of moving on, living your life happily single, ascending towards new phases, and possibly ascending away from a empath narcissist paradigm. So that may have been your old relationship being charmed and feeling used, right? Narcissists, they charm you, they hoover you in, they, they they say all these beautiful things and then they discard you. And they're like, oh, well, what just happened? So some of you are releasing an energy like that and ascending to prepare for a new phase of union with a better person. Unfortunately, the cards are coming out how they're coming out. And, you know, despite the experience you have with some people, you know, sometimes love is still there. Um, on your end, their end, whatever the case may be, I definitely do feel like there's somebody that may not be the greatest energy coming back around for some of you. Leo's, I did feel that with the reconciliation, the shark and the milk, where they just feel like they need some of your energy. They need a sip of your cup. They need to feel that reconciliation. A lot of you, you did find happiness with this person once before. Some of you, this is a huge transformation of how they're coming in. It's going to be different for all of you. Some of you, you are connecting to somebody who has these kind of um, personality traits. They're going to be a little bit better this weekend. They're going to be a little bit loving, but that definitely why I had the high, high, low, lows energy now that the girl with the snake has come out. So let's get one more poll for Oracle from the normal Mystic Moons I usually use for Leo for the weekend for Leo. All right, so we have here tribe. So your spiritual support system is really helping you, Leo. They keep reiterating that in almost every single one of your spreads. We have purge, helping you purge out things that no longer serve you. And we have devotion. There you go. Somebody wanting to give you their time and energy. Um, your person being more devoted to you. This past person coming in wanting to give you more of their um, time, apologize, devote more of their energy to you, or this new person is like, hey, Leo, purge out the past. Here I am, and I have offers. So that's what I have here for romantic love, Leo. Very, very interesting. Um, I told you the zodiac signs that came out already. Yeah. Okay, so let's get your general message, and then we're going to get... Um, your ending oracle. Okay. Also, Leo, for your daily that we did recently this week, 
I think you did get the 111 card and you do have transformation as 11 up there. A lot of you are definitely seeing the newness happen this weekend. So, Spirit, this is for Leo. In a general state of being for Leo, I need one card out cold for generally for Leo's weekend this weekend. Um, February 25th, 26th, 27th. One card out cold for Leo generally. Generally speaking, what do you want Leo to know? Generally for Leo, what's going on? Thank you. The devil. All right. Well, not surprised seeing that. Um, Leo, you're really trying to break free of people that no longer serve you. Or you got somebody obsessive and possessive and they're coming in. They're coming in a lot hotter than usual for you this weekend. Could be a Capricorn. Clarify the devil here for Leo. This is unreal. I'm gonna make that the I'm making that the um title for this reading. Clarify the devil. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, Leo, you're learning a lot. And unfortunately, you go through learning processes with people who are not the greatest energies for you all the time. Maybe sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not good. Maybe sometimes they're horrible and other times they're bad, right? Could be that this person is never good. Could be that they have good days, bad days. Somebody's definitely reaching out to you here. Three of Pentacles. Somebody really, really wants to be on the same page with you. They want to compromise with you. They want to feel good with you, Leo. And they look pretty persistent in doing this. You may be sitting in the devil because you have such strong doubt. If these are newer energies, but this could definitely be connected to those energies that made you feel less than triggered i think this person wants to compromise with you clarify this for leo this could be that friend right this is definitely correlating with your spirit message so this could be that friend that wants back in this could be that love this could be that family member this could be that co-worker this could be that boss whomever you're hearing from someone ace of cups there it is again leo all right, so I feel like they're really emphasizing your love life, but this is the general message, so I don't really feel like it's all for love. For a lot of you, yes. I don't know. Someone's not over you, or you have new love here, but your fears are astronomically strong, or this person wants to renew the sense of love for you, express more, but um, you're just a little bit doubtful or fearful around this person's energy for whatever reasons why. You have your own reasons, right? But somebody's definitely expressing love to you this weekend. Somebody's definitely interested in getting back into your energy. I heavily feel romance, but I do feel like this could be a friend. This could be a family member. Somebody who just feels um, drawn to your energy very, very strongly. So clarify the Ace of Cups here for Leo for the weekend. Thank you. Ten of Pentacles. So this could be with a dynamic at home, for sure. Maybe some of you may have not the greatest um, energies at home, or there was difficulty at home. I do want to say for some of you Leos as well, if you were having a hard time with your finances, you may start doing something financially that you love to do that will also bring you wonderful abundance for this lifetime. So some of you definitely may be taking on another job or a different job and your heart is really connected to it. Um, clarify the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, so you're really working through mentally what to do, where to go, how to deal with this person, um, what business endeavors you want to do. You, In terms of business, you really want to do something where your heart is in it. And I feel like you're either getting presented with a business idea or endeavor, or you are just going to be reaping reward of doing something you love really doing something you love really doing something that your heart is emotionally connected to maybe it's helping people 
Um, maybe it's um, doing tarot or astrology. It's just really something that you feel really connected to. So you're in your head about it, but I see you getting it out of that. But that's probably why you have the devil here because those doubts could be yours. But I also just feel like you have a pretty possessive or obsessive person um, coming in or already around you or they're just a little bit toxic or possibly narcissistic. Please clarify the Eight of Swords. We'll clarify this and then we'll get your ending oracle for Leo. And the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, Leo, you're definitely holding your stuff very close to yourself. You're not showing your hand, right? You're not showing your 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 hand of cards while you're playing poker. You're not showing your full hand. And, you know, I'm going to let you know right now, if this has to do with another person, it's going to make them more obsessive and possessive because they can't read you fully. Or it's going to make this person, like, hold on to you even tighter because they feel like they're losing your energy or you're not as open. Um, let me clarify that. Four of Pentacles for Leo... Four of Cups. Yeah, you're just kind of like... <sighs> Clarify the Four of Cups. I don't know if you're waiting for this per person to offer you something specific or say something specific to you. Um, but you feel like this person is not necessarily living up to your full expectations or maybe what you were doing for work wasn't fully emotionally making you feel good or making you feel connected and you're finally getting that. You're finally finding somewhere where your heart is in it. Ten of swords, there you go. The worst is over. So this energy is coming to an end and you also will be getting out of your head. I know I said one more clarification, but we have the ten of swords now, so we have to see what comes after that. So one more for Leo. What comes after this ten of swords for Leo? For Leo, Leo, Leo. Clarify this ten of swords. And we have the Six of Pentacles. There you go. So this person may decide to reciprocate you in the way you want to reci be reciprocated. But I feel like a lot of you Leos, you're like, why the heck do I have to beg you? Why do I have to tell you what to do? Why do I have to like um, word things out for you perfectly? Like, why can't you just think about things on your own? I do feel like for some of you, you may deal with that where you have to like tell your friend or tell your lover or tell your family member like what they should be doing to fix this. Or what they should be doing to help you. And others of you, like I said, Three of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. You're going to start doing something for work that you really love doing. It's bringing excitement. It's bringing generosity. It's bringing reciprocity. I can't even say that reciprocation so you feel really good in the community you're working in so I really feel like you're starting to do something you love or you may be actually partnering up with somebody in a business endeavor and you really feel good about this person you can trust them you can open up to them you don't have to hold your hand so close to your chest right so I definitely feel like finance you're doing things that you feel really emotionally connected to or you will start doing that and it looks like there's somebody here they're even coming out in your general message, which I'm not surprised because they came out in your, um, your, what's it called up there? Your, your theme cards and your spirit message. So there is somebody here that wanting to bridge the gap between the two of you, Leo, whether it's a huge gap or a little gap, a big disconnect or a little disconnect, somebody wants to feel nourished by you, Leo. Somebody wants some of the Leo or they want a lot more of the Leo. So let's see, Leo, let's close you out with an ending oracle from the seven energies. For Leo. All right, and we have Birds of a Feather, card 25. All right, so Birds of a Feather, 25, 25 for Leo. Find like-minded people. That's what that card's about. Um, <clears throat> here we go. Have you ever wondered how many... I'm sorry. Have you ever wondered how people naturally gravitate to one another and discover a surprising intimacy and connection? There is a kind of magnetic energy, like an invisible ray of light that gently pulls people together to form something beautiful that can be shared. 
As in the word, as in the saying, birds of a feather flock together, it comes from an instinctual need for belonging. We need community to survive, to strive and grow. We humans are social creatures after all. None of us are meant to be fully alone. The concept of belonging is playing an important role in your life currently. Perhaps you found yourself in a group where you knew you were in the right place. Trust those strands of connection for now is the time to strive in the community. See, some of you for work, better community. Others of you, um, you did get girl talk for your love situation. Some of you ask friends, people to help you, whoever you feel like are helping hands. What you will find is a deeper and more expansive way of looking at the world by bearing yourself to others and sharing ideas, hopes, and dreams. However long you stay here in this journey of becoming who you're meant to be, connecting to community and participating in fellowship is the best thing for you right now. You will flourish as a part of a network like-minded and like-hearted people. Yeah, I feel like this is heavily for business for you too. Or like-minded people around you. People are there going to help you strive. People are going to give you good advice good opinions, dealing with toxic love, toxic family members, toxic other friends, toxic work, whatever. Stick to what feels good and resonates with your heart. When you understand the value of community, you will discover everything you're hoping for and much more than you're expecting. Do keep in mind your community of spirits are also near and dear to your heart. Do not forget to connect to them as you're also interconnecting with the humans around you. Wow. There you go, Leo. Beautiful, very interesting spread for the weekend. Should see how this turns out. Um, this is what I have here for you. Thank you, Leo, for being here and for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I love each and every one of you, and I'll talk to all of y'all very soon. Bye now.